The Lost City is directed by the Knee Brothers and stars Sandra Bullock, Channing Tatum, Daniel Radcliffe, and Brad Pitt. Sandra Bullock plays a reclusive romance novelist on a book tour with her cover model, played by Channing Tatum, who gets swept up in a kidnapping attempt that lands both of them in a cutthroat jungle adventure. And I just want to say once again from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much to everyone who has pledged for our Kickstarter for Shelby Oaks, our independent horror film. We've already made history, and it's getting bigger and bigger every day. We did surpass $600,000, which is just amazing. You guys are so incredible, and I am so grateful to be part of this community, and I can't wait to share this experience with you guys. Our Kickstarter still has a few more days left. There is still an opportunity to support this film. We've had over 6,000 people do that for us. Any little bit helps, guys, really. We are trying to make indie film history here. People in the industry are starting to talk. They're starting to notice. This is really big, guys, and every day I get more excited about our possibilities. We have introduced new stretch goals, which I'm going to talk about after the review. I won't lie, when I saw the poster for The Lost City, I just had like this immediate reaction that the film wouldn't be good. I don't know why. It's one of those things that just kind of gets grilled into you over time where you see elements of Photoshop layers stacked upon each other in ways that just don't look like it's going to result in a good film. Also, I had never heard of the Knee Brothers before. They do have a couple feature credits on their IMDb, but they're very small films and most people haven't heard of them. So to suddenly have this gigantic multi-million dollar movie with an insane amount of A-listers in your film that's a lot to juggle, but they did a phenomenal job. This movie was so much fucking fun. It's definitely a crowd pleaser movie. It's a type of movie that it's tough to not like unless you go into this film sort of ready to nitpick. It feels very much like a Romancing the Stone or a film that Six Days and Seven Nights was trying to be but didn't really work out. This movie balances everything very well. And although there are moments where the story sort of loses sight of what it's trying to do and sometimes character motivations especially for Daniel Radcliffe's villain are very weak. It's the chemistry between Sandra Bullock and Channing Tatum and the more than capable eye of the Knee Brothers and the way they handle some of the action sequences that make the movie endlessly watchable. But in particular it's the actors. Brad Pitt especially in a kind of extended cameo. Like he's in the movie enough to warrant his inclusion on the poster but he plays a former Navy SEAL badass who's also very into meditation and being calm while he slowly chokes people to death. <laughs> he's very funny in the movie and he has some really great scenes. And his character also has long hair like in Legends of the Fall which was beautiful to see. <laughs> Sandra Bullock is a wonderful actress, but she's also a very gifted physical comedian. She does a lot of great bits in this movie, and they all land. She's very, very funny in the film, as is Channing Tatum, and we've seen him be very funny in the 21 Jump Street movies, but it's really just the rapport between him and Bullock that make this movie gold, and that's what people need. If these two didn't work well with each other, the whole movie would fall apart. But I also really like the way into the adventure. It was very different. Sandra Bullock being this romance novelist who's pretty sure this might be her last novel. Channing Tatum is actually the cover model for all of her books. <laughs> and so he has this massive fan base of people who just like him from the artist rendering of him on the cover of these novels. But Bullock's character is someone who went to school for something other than writing romance novels. She's very into archaeology and ancient studies, and she was once married to someone who was also very into that too, and when he died, she kind of lost all interest in that and decided to write romance novels. Very interesting career shift, but because of something that she included in one of her books that utilizes that knowledge she has, she becomes the target of Daniel Radcliffe's character who's obsessed with finding this item from the past. And his obsession hinges on the fact that he didn't get enough love from his dad, and his dad sort of let his younger brother inherit the company or something. It was, it was very weak, and uh, he was good in the movie, though. Like, he was very purposefully unlikable and you believed his passion for finding this thing, and you believed that he was a fucking brat. But there just wasn't enough humanity given to the character on the page, I think. Like, from a script standpoint, his character was fairly thin. And the movie leans heavily into the cheesy aspects of most romance novels, and that Tatum's character has given himself over to a world that really believes he is this incredible hero on the cover of these romance novels who would rescue everyone and 
take his shirt off every two seconds. And I like that the film eventually embraced that very much. It's very hard to make a comedy nowadays. And I think this movie found a really good balance of some offensive humor, but mostly it's just situational. There's a lot of physical gags like with leeches or two people trying to sleep in a very small hammock. But the chemistry of the leads as well as a very strong extended cameo from Brad Pitt really make this movie work. So like I said guys, the Shelby Oaks Kickstarter campaign is in full force still for a few more days. There is still an opportunity to support this movie. I'm extremely grateful for all the support that has been shown thus far by the over 6,000 backers. And since we met all of our stretch goals, we're going to introduce a few more. If we can reach $750,000, we will not only add an extra shooting day to our schedule, but we'll also be able to build a particularly complicated set, an abandoned house in the woods. We'll also be offering backers the opportunity to submit designs and then vote with us for the exclusive Blu-ray DVD slipcover. It really goes without saying how valuable an extra shooting day on a film can be. You might have a shot or two that just didn't work out or something you really wanted to make better early on in the production and it's just been eating away at your brain. If you have that extra shooting day, you can go in there and just really tighten up everything. If there's anything that needs to be reshot, that's the day to do it. And it's just gonna be absolutely invaluable to us to have that. But more importantly, the abandoned house in the woods. This is a very important segment of the film. Filming in a real abandoned house is virtually impossible. You could film exteriors of one, but once you get inside, a real abandoned house is usually unsanitary. There's dead animals, there's mold. Trust me, I've scouted some for this movie, and it's just not safe for the actors or for the crew. And more than likely, there's no electricity access, and so we're gonna have to build a very complicated set to make this piece of the movie work. And I'm really hoping that you guys can help us do that. But also being able to vote on an exclusive Blu-ray slipcover only for backers. If you're anything like me, that kind of stuff gets you kind of excited. I mean, look behind me. I obviously like that shit. Now, if, and this is a big if, because I can't even imagine this happening, but if we can reach $1 million, we'll be able to hire a veteran animal wrangler and the best trained dogs available, as well as add a second camera for key scenes. We'll also be adding a second hand-numbered backer-only poster to all physical reward tiers. So there are a handful of sequences in this movie that involve dogs, and they have to do very specific things. And there's one thing that I would really like to do all in one take and I don't want to use CGI. That's going to be costly. It'd be great to hire someone who has done this kind of thing before, who understands the safety issues and the best trained dogs available. That will help me realize a vision I've had for this way before I even started writing the script. And adding a second camera just allows us to film scenes quicker, get more coverage, different angles at the same time. That's just gonna make the shooting days go faster and then we'll have more time to do other stuff we wanna do. But also a hand-numbered exclusive backer poster, this kind of stuff is the, the things that like as a film fan, like that gets me very excited. And I hope that you guys also are interested in these things. We really still could use your help. There are still ways to make this movie better and better. And you guys are helping us do that. I am so grateful. The link for the Kickstarter is in the description below. Thank you guys so much. As always, if you like this, you can click right here and get stuckmanized.